setup of the program, the first thing that is the preferences within the program. The printing preferences, when you run your marketing campaigns for direct mail or your reports, the program can save those reports to a PDF file or an NDR file, which is a Rave Report Writer format, so that in the event that your uh, event crashes in the middle of the printing, that you'll be able to open up that old report and then be able to start the print job over. Now, the reason why I like to use PDF files is that if I'm doing a mailing campaign for a thousand postcards and I have a problem right in the middle of it, I can open up a PDF file and do a find and actually find where I left off on the last print. Uh, so I'd look at the last postcard that printed properly and then find that card and that would tell me what page number that I need to start on uh, when I restart the print job. The save to report section is actually used in conjunction within ProfitMax under the reports menu option where you can open up old print job. The days to check for program updates, that's for live updates on the program. Uh, the default cost of goods percent is what your average food cost and beverage cost is combined so that when you do a redemption on an event that your default food cost percentage is going to be deducted from the revenue so that we're measuring the profits based on the net revenue not gross. Uh, the rmgmail.com web entry ID is a four digit code that links you directly in with the RMG website which is given to you when you first become a customer and establish service on RMG. If you are not using RMG mail for your outgoing mail we have an email component within ProfitMax that allows you to set your SMTP server, the port, any authentication for passwords, and then setting up delays for emails when the ISP has limitations on the number of emails that you can send on a per day, per hour basis. and. Uh, it can kind of stagger your email over a longer period of time. And those are the preferences that we had initially set up.